Hello everyone and welcome back. My name's Dustin Kreis and I'm uh, going to do another game discussion and uh, this is going to be a, a little bit of a weird one because usually I wait to finish a game before I do the game discussion on it but um, this one is going to take me a while to beat. Not because it's hard, not because it's challenging, you know, all that stuff that usually, not that it's a long game or anything, just because I, I just am not getting into it. Um, I'm almost, you know, I have like two more uh, little worlds to beat and then I'm done with it. And uh, I, I still, I'm just kind of struggling to get through it. And that is Paper Mario Sticker Star. And uh, this is kind of really unfortunate because this was one that I was really, really looking forward to. Um, you know, as soon as it was announced for the 3DS, I went out and pre-ordered it. Um, and yeah, I just, I, I don't know what it is. Um, I love Paper Mario, and I love Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Uh, this one, however, is just, there's just some mechanics in it that I just can't get behind. The whole sticker thing. Uh, we'll talk about that when we get to the gameplay. But um, even that, like the storyline, is so bare bones. Uh, basically, uh, this comet falls um, during the sticker celebration and uh you know shenanigans happen you know bowser uh kidnaps the princess he has a big crown you know uh you know it's just like I'm, the entire time i'm playing it it's like there is a story here but i i just don't feel like i don't know like in an rpg i expect there to be some kind of through line for a storyline and it's like the story is the setup and then it's just you know um you going and doing this there's no uh real no real storyline, whereas I felt like with uh, Paper Mario and with Thousand Year Door, there was a nice storyline with those two games. And this one, it just it just sets up the storyline, and that's basically it. Which is okay for, like, a normal Mario game or a platformer or something. But this is supposed to be an RPG. And I do expect RPGs to have um, a pretty good storyline. And I'm not talking about, like, you know, grand epicness or things like that. But just enough of a storyline to keep me interested and keep me playing. And uh, this one really, I mean, I think I read somewhere where Nintendo talked about how only 10% of gamers are interested in storyline. So, uh, or something like that. Um, basically saying that no one plays a video game for the story. And uh, that couldn't be further from the truth. So, unfortunately, with Paper Mario Sticker Star, the story is just not there. Um, and it's just not something I could get into. Um... The gameplay aspect, uh, it, it it's weird because this tries to be a, a very traditional uh, RPG. Um, you know, you run around on a, a map and uh, you see the enemies there. You can avoid them. You can attack them if you wish. Uh, just, let, you know, like the old Paper Marios. But then when you get into a battle, um, your traditional attack and flower power stuff um, is replaced by this entire sticker um, mechanic. And uh, some publications have really praised this, saying it's very deep. And uh, I, I found the entire sticker uh, system to be just completely annoying. Um, there is a, a nice balance, you know. Sometimes you have to, you know, pick a certain sticker to do this, a certain sticker to do that. But uh, for the most part, it's just like... You have a finite amount of resources in these stickers, and of course you can find them all over the levels, and you can buy them in shops, but I find myself avoiding battle altogether because I have a finite amount of resources I really want to save for these bosses. And also, um, there is absolutely no advantage to fighting in these battles. Um, you get coins, of course, that you can spend in shops, but I have so many coins in this game that I can basically buy and sell my way through it. Um, and for a you know traditional uh, JRPG turn-based battle system game, no experience points. Um, the only way Mario gets stronger is by equipping stronger stickers. And equipping is not even the right word to use. Having stronger stickers in your inventory to use. And finding heart um, containers around the world. So, you know... On the one hand, this is—it feels a lot like an RPG, but it doesn't. When you really get into the mechanics of it, it, it doesn't really feel like an RPG anymore. It's like they're taking Paper Mario. You know, they're just trying to strip 
more and more of the RPG-ness out of it and make it something completely different. And I, I, a lot of people are really going to like this game. Um, there is a lot to like about it, uh, but it's just not what I wanted out of this game. Uh, the music, um, you know, very traditional Mario esque, you know, Paper Mario style music. Nothing really to write home about. The graphics look amazing. This is actually a really good 3DS looking game. And for it to, to be, uh, you know, the Paper Mario 2D art style, the 3D actually looks pretty nice uh, the few times I've turned it on. But um, yeah, just gosh, I, I feel so bad about this because I was so looking forward to this game. And I mean, I will finish it, but like I was upstairs playing it and I just got so annoyed um, because it may, if some, you know, some stages it makes you jump through all these crazy hoops just to finish the stage, and then you don't even get the payoff of like a nice storyline segment, or you know, the payoff of having Mario feel stronger uh, through leveling up and things like that. So um, <clears throat> I don't know. I, I I don't really know how to recommend this game um, because on the one hand. Uh, there is some stuff to really like about it, but on the other hand, if you go into this thinking you're going to get like Paper Mario 64 or you know Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, it's not what you're going to get. Um, it's something something a lot different. I mean, on the one hand, I, I praise Nintendo for taking a risk with it, but for me personally, it just didn't pay off. And um, I mean, I'm not shelving it. I'm keeping it in the 3DS, and I'm going to finish it. But I know that if I wait to do this video. Um, I mean, I might not have this video up until February because I just, you know, I, it's weird how in, in a normal RPG, I will go and I will play through it and, you know, just enjoy the storyline. I have to play through it all so I get all the storyline at a point. But since this doesn't have a storyline, and since the world map is set up kind of like Super Mario World, uh, where you can go around and pick a stage and play that stage and then you move on to the next stage, um, it really is you know, very pick up and play for a handheld. So, you know, with that, I mean, I might go and play a couple stages and get past them and then set it down for like a week, you know. Um, and that's really been, I mean, I took a big break playing Liberation Maiden and Crimson Shroud. And, uh, I mean, I will finish it, but I'm not going to finish it anytime soon. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Paper Mario Sicker Star. Probably, you know... One of the biggest disappointments of 2012, and um, I would put Adventure, if I could go back and do my list, I probably, um, I don't know if I'd put Adventure Time above it because Adventure Time is such a short game and really a very niche game because if you don't like Adventure Time, you're not going to like the game. But um, yeah, just I'm really, I'm disappointed in this game, but I'm also kind of upset with myself for maybe just hyping it up too much and um you know it just it couldn't lift up to those lofty um the lofty heights i put it to so paper mario sticker star i, I would say um definitely do a lot of research before you pick it up because you could be potentially very very disappointed with this game kind of like i am so um anyway guys um the episode six of another gaming podcast is up with Doom Waves. Um, it's a long one because um, I, I just I had a feeling going into it that it was going to be a long one. So um, you might want to download the audio version that you can get by going to the actual uh, link below to get to the YouTube page. Uh, but it is a very excellent episode. I have to admit, um, I think it is a really good one. So. Definitely check that out. I keep burping because I ate fondue, and for some reason it's, it's making me burp. I don't know why. But um, anyway, guys, that is it for this. Um, I do have some other games coming up. Playing Dust Elysium Tale right now, and I, I don't know if that's a short game or not, but um, it's really... Uh, I can't put it down. So uh, expect that to be coming here soon. But other than that, um, I haven't picked up anything. I haven't bought anything the, for the rest of this month. I've been very good. Uh, except for the Neo Geo Gold X, of course. So don't expect a pickup video uh, anytime soon. Um, but yeah, we'll see what we go from here. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys next time.